welcome back to my channel now this is about health topics um and we're going to talk about is soy estrogen among females reproductive area effects on hair skin and nails <laughs> i know you guys have been wanting this topic for a very long time and especially about health tips because this is what solely will I mean, my main channel is and i am bringing that topic here but this is basically um 10 ways how soy can affect your estrogen or your period um your overall health for a woman is very 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 important because your reproductive is your first brain nobody tells you this because it covers almost every single part of your body um not just the gut but your wound comes first then your gut then your heart then your brain <laughs> so below as above <laughs> help me so um that's basically what we're going to be talking about today and the first thing we're going to be talking about is soy candles they have it almost in every single soy products as as for goals for candles it's a it's a beautiful day out here we've been gloomy for two weeks <laughs> so i just had to acknowledge how sunny it is today <laughs> y'all i haven't did a video in so long outside it's crazy and let alone post on my page <laughs> forgive me but um life's been great uh, ever since my detox, I've been learning and growing, and ever since that detox, I my life been changing still, still from that detox. Um, no, I have not did extreme detox since then, only minor or like immediate type detox or mostly salads, no snacks. Oh, and ever since, um, like six months later, I've been starting eating snacks. Um. I don't crave chips, snacks, or anything like that. Like, at all. Like, even if I do, I just eat it just just because, maybe because uh, I'll be bored and I want to eat it. It was somebody offering me. I was like, why not? But I don't go to the grocery store and, like, let me go to the snack aisle. I don't even do that anymore. Like, I used to. Like, I was a snack addict. Like, I had snacks under my bed. And I'd just wake up and eat it. i go crazy. <laughs> i go crazy. <laughs> I miss y'all. I miss y'all. Uh, yeah, I miss y'all. So, soy candles is in, even in bath and box. I don't want to use their name and put their name out there. I don't want to get banned or flagged. But that's, um, you, well, alternatives for it is bee wax, um, candle wax, uh, not candle, coconut wax. Um, things in those nature is very, very um good Ooh, it's a beat that's an alternative don't get soy it look when you look to the back they, it says a lot about soy and stuff like that and and when you inhale things it does affect your health and especially it's a war it's a war against your wound so please know that and how important it is that a lot of people don't even tell you about these things so after the, after the candles soy candles yeah soy candles is really not good why is it so loudy today goodness yeah um <laughs> so yeah and pens pens have a lot of soy in it too and i'm like soy and pen are you serious why you can just be like one of those um lead ink pen but now they have soy ink pens today society where it's like eco-friendly and environmental friendly and stuff like that i'm like no it when you touch it it's going to affect your skin body everything that's why you shouldn't touch your face um with dirty hands or let your hair touch your face you know just don't let it be cross-contaminated because if you have sensitive face you shouldn't let it touch anything or let anybody touch your hair or your body or your energy or anything in that nature so candles soy candles and soy pens i know a lot of people don't know about it but i'm here to tell you okay um the third thing i have 
is um they have beyond meat and meatless meat and those along those brands for people that goes vegan and think they are doing a healthy job which is which is not a healthy job those ingredients when you look in the back is majority of pea protein and soy and chemical um things not even made out of real things and even when it is made out of real things it is isolated from that real whole component but she's still not getting any nutrients because then the, when it enters the body it has to combine with your other nutrients to come to make it as a full component again which is basically taken away from you to make it whole so it can digest and that's why um when, you, when a lot of most vegans go a lot of meat eaters go vegan they go they become malnutrition they glands or their organs starts getting worse than they was eating meat because you eating food most of the time of them eating food that is not nurturing nurturing their soul nourishing their body and now they start to deplete and that's why they go to the doctor and they say go you need more protein you need more meat you need pills and uh, omega-3 6 and 9 and all that goody tissue which you can get all that from whole general food and this is why I don't promote meat as meat or fake meat. And you need to eat. I will promote eating at least real food. I have a shirt that's called Eat Real Food. Um, that you need to eat something that's like from nature. You can, if you are a meat eater, eat it from nature. Eat, don't, don't eat the processed meat. Go and go like if you're in Jamaica, they catch your fish for you. So eat the fish when they catch it within two days old. You'd be better off doing that okay um but yeah i don't this is why when you eat so much processed food processed food meat eaters and processed fake food that goes for meat eaters too they eat like a lot of box food and stuff and food that been in packages for six and maybe a year <laughs> that's too dramatic but maybe three months to six months um and, and they eat a salad or real food they say i'm not hungry i don't know how you get full well, your your microbiome or your gut is so used to eating processed food that you have a lot of, I would call it people or bacteria. A lot of them love it too, to the point where they're not used to eating food that that's real in your gut. So when it's when something comes in there, they all gonna disagree with each other. Like we don't eat it, we don't like it, we don't feel fulfilled. We feel, we they feel fulfilled when you treat it. You kept treating it with the same food like you know how you you are what you eat it really you are what you eat and if you're not used to it, that's why you introduce it slowly into a diet just like how you slowly exercise into a, a workout program you slowly into it to your diet so one day you can get full like me <laughs> i remember i could not get full off of one up three up five up six seven and eight <laughs> just keep going and still hungry next two hours hey your big old bowl of salad still hungry i was like this vegan stuff ain't working until i did a detox and slowly introduced a lot of stuff in my di my diet and my microbiome oh boy okay so next thing um i wanted to talk about is tofu yeah let's talk about it let's talk about it as a black African American or African, you can't eat tofu. Let me explain. Asians can, cause they never have. They don't have. Um, it's like I don't know how to explain it in a scientific form, but the best way I can explain it is that Asians don't get affected by soy products or soy tofu. Um. Um. Food. But when we eat it, we get fibroids, cysts, reproductive problems, tumors, all those things along those lines. So that's that is not good. So you, you can see that it does play along to what race you are. So if you have a black, half Asian, then you could get away with eating tofu. If you have a descendant of an Asian person in your family, you can get away with it. Even if you look full black. But the effects on tofu can make it break your hormone cycle, your 
your balance of your hormones and your skin and your nails and your hair. Like it really going to affect you. A lot like how it affects a guy that eats the soy for the first time and he continues to eat it for years. He becomes soy boys, he becomes sassy, he moves the hips, he talks a little bit more feminine because it changed your demeanor and changed your hormone factors, which is your sexuality or your sexual preference. Um, like he starts to move weird and different because soy does have a um, component that does change the way you look at things and stuff like that. And it's called story boys or a lady that can like be more of a masculine woman uh, because of soy. So soy I do not promote as tofu. Tofu comes from soybeans. So don't, if you do choose to eat it, eat very, 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 very small amounts of tofu. Tofu is not, not, not good for black people. I mean, even for um, my Caucasians and Mexicans that can get away with it. Nah, I'm making this video no matter what. It's a loud day today. So, um, see, the devil tried to stop me today, but it's not going to stop me today. Okay, snacks. Snacks got the most, uh, most, most soy. If you don't believe me, look behind the snack bag of snack candy anything behind there you want to see soy in any type of form soy is in your snacks and most of the time the snacks are not even real it's just like eating meat is meat and you might as well just eat snacks for dinner <laughs> you might as well eat meat, 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 meatless meat for dinner just telling you okay <laughs> i don't have any um snacks um i got big off snacks so and yeah i went to acids because of snack because of the amount of sugar i ate when i was younger <laughs> But yes, please start eating um, snacks. Uh, look behind it. You think I'm lying? Look, turn your snacks. Go in the camera. Go in the snacks on uh, spot and look behind it. Uh, the sixth topic is meat. Yes, meat have soy because they feed them with um, soybeans because it's so 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 cheap. That's what you see in almost every ingredient, with everything that you eat. Um, uh, so meat have one of the most soy ingested in animals, so you can boost their hormones and get them to have kids faster or get them to get fatter yes so it gets you fat so yeah get you better and change your hormones to get you bigger um and faster and uh, they eat corn corn is genetically modified also they don't eat no grass um they eat a lot of beans corn and um unless you go to the real farm where you literally know that they grow the um, meat he healthy and organic then yes you eat those meat because they actually eat grass and it's slowly grown animals over time and naturally killed or humanely killed in a, in a sort of way so yes and once you get off meat it will affect your hormones it will affect your adrenals it will affect your brain it'll affect the mood so please do not get off meat less than two years i recommend two years until your second year cut off the meat but i do not recommend cut off meat the first year unless you got cancer or you're about to die because of health issues but uh overall there's nothing wrong with meat but meat can make a break depending on how obsessive you eat the meat especially carbs carbs can be carbs is sugar aka sugar so carbs you shouldn't even be eaten but they sneak that into our diet because of the world nutrition and people are dying and lack of fruit trees that we did not have we used to have in nature which they cut it down where more people was dying so they have to introduce uh, rice bread and all that other stuff into our environment to help the people survive and that's the topic about meat <laughs> but um uh Another thing I have for you guys is Plexi Bottles. Yes, Plexi Bottles have a lot of soy uh, intake. So even with my conscious vegan, conscious people, or meat eaters, or carnivores, or carnivores, or whatever the case may be, um, the water bottles have, come on, B. Water bottles have a lot of soy in it. So even when you drink out of it, please um, drink tea that supplements your hormone balance. It just buzzes um your hormone balance and that helps you regulate because i do drink plaxic water bottles oh a lady oh a lady bug bugs out today 
this must be just, it should have just called today the first day of spring because it's hot <laughs> so um yes water bottles are how can i say yeah like water bottles have a lot of soy and um disruptors and hormone disruptor and bpa and all that like just don't drink out of it but even glass even have hormone chemicals in it so either way we doing what we can i thought the bee was stuck uh so either way we do what we can where you go oh it's up there oh man that bee is big y'all i'm scared Yeah, this is hot out here, y'all. Um, let me let me let me hurry up. <laughs> um, it loves that chime I have. Um, yeah, so uh, I drink out of water bottles and I drink out of glass bottles. I'm trying to get through the video. <laughs> oh my god, I'm trying to get through the video. But please let me get through the video. <laughs> Uh, I have so much information for you guys and I want to do a video outside, but Yeah, I just haven't did a video outside in a minute. So um, Yeah, I promote glass bottles cups glass clubs glass plate glass uh, Tupperware and stuff like that, you know um, um, The next one I want to discuss it, but I'm gonna have to discuss it in another video and it's coffee coffee deserve its own topic <laughs> uh and number 10 i should put this in the first one but birth control is very i'm pretty sure everybody knows about birth control birth control is really really bad on the hormones reproductive area i do not promote anybody doing birth control i recommend you guys looking up track your ovulation and get your um menstrual cycle back on track that's why i put you guys on uh, what things that affect your hormones so you can get it back on track and goes and go around the full moon It goes around the full moon. You start to release on the full moon full is when it's full you release it So your period is supposed to be around that week of the full moon If it's not then something is wrong with your cycle, you know, you don't have to do a detox but you can do better on your diet to get to that point where it can re-regulate itself to achieve for you to track your ovulation, get more pregnant, and help you have more kids just because of that. Menopause, I got you on other videos. I got you due to reproductive areas. I give you solutions. I have you guys. I may look young, but I know a lot. So don't let this stop you from learning new things and um, gaining knowledge. So you can make we all can make the um, world a better place. But I do not recommend birth control. I'm telling you, it's really bad. People don't tell you that track your ovulations can change your life, and you don't really need a condom when you track your ovulation, and especially when you have a light, light, light period, and it lasts about one day, maybe a, a drop of less than a, um, one centimeter of a drop. It's going to be life changing, especially the less blood you lose, the more iron you can keep, and more nutrients you can keep. It's so deep. That I can teach you guys and you, I can give you more information from the cosmos that I've been getting downloads throughout, especially throughout my detox. I got you guys. If you need any more things that you want to learn, drop in the comments because I have you guys, okay? And the bonus thing I want to tell you guys, the bonus I have on here is stress. Yes, stress does affect your hormones. It can make you look ugly. It can make you feel ugly. Um, skin starts to sag. You don't look vibrant, you look dull, stress. Everybody knows the top two things that can affect your hormones. Everybody should know birth control and stress. Stress is so bad. I can give stress its own topic, but stress, please let go of the stress. Do meditation, go walk outside, do exercise, um, do breath work. Breath work is easy. Do five minutes. It's not going to take much out of your day. But I thank you guys for tuning in. On the effects on soy, on effects on your um, reproductive estrogen on a female body. But I got you guys for the guys. I got you guys. Got a lot for you guys. But please let go, especially the weed. The weed does affect your hormones and your digestion.
your digestive system. If you want to gain weight, like go to weed. If you want to lose weight, like go to weed. If you want to do gain weight and lose weight still, like go to drink. Start drinking. And, and watch how you can drop pounds, especially changing your diet just a little bit. You'll start dropping pounds. But thank you for tuning in. Yes, come back to the next video.